Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Allie. If you're new here, I upload a beauty Bible and lifestyle videos. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. All right, so somehow the Shop My Stash videos just kind of turned into like a monthly Shop My Stash type of deal. And that works for me. That works for my schedule. That works with everything else that I have going on. So we are going to play with the makeup that I already picked out. Aside from a different, a couple products that I kind of just brought in because I was honestly just tired of what I had. I just haven't had time to sit down and film like the shop my stash get ready with me. So that way I can pick out new makeup. So yeah, we're doing that today. And let's go ahead and get into the makeup that I chose. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and pick out the makeup for the month of April. Um, so first thing I want to pick out is this uh, Wet n Wild Primer Base. That one's super good. And then I do want to go ahead and pick out for concealer. What I'm going to choose is the Dominique Cosmetics or the Dominique, the Dose of Colors Concealer with the which one don't I use a lot um how about we pick out the covergirl concealer I don't use that one often at all and then for foundation I'm gonna pick out another two that I don't really use uh and poreless as well as the look at this one this one's at the bottom I don't ever use this one so we'll use the profusion take out the profusion feel good skin Okay, and so now for the store for blush, bronzer, and selling powder. So let's go ahead and pick up the e.l.f. setting powder, um, the Milani bronzing stick, and we are almost done with this. Like, we are almost there. We are at the finish line. Let's go ahead and pick out the e.l.f. putty bronzer. And just for another setting powder type deal, let's pick up the Bare Minerals Bare Pro powder. Let's pick out, I don't really use these, but I'm gonna pick out this Essence Blush in the shade Beloved. See if we want any of these palettes. And I guess for bronzer and highlight, we could pick out this one. That'll be my only highlighter, I think. And then let's also pick out the Jacqueline palette. All right, so now let's get into eyeshadow palettes. I think I kind of want something fun and then something neutral. And a fun palette I never really use is this neon palette because I don't tend this Makeup Revolution neon palettes because I never really tend to uh, grab towards my, wow, reach for my bigger palette. And this one's just really pretty. So let's go ahead and grab that one. And then I guess for our high end palette this month, we'll get something out of here. And we'll just go with the Dominique Cosmetics one because why not? Super neutral. And for brows, uh, let's take out, we'll take out the Wet n Wild Brow Glue. Brow Glue, Brow Gel. I'm gonna take out this Undone one because it's a two for one, so it's a pen and a brow gel. And then for a actual pencil, I think I wanna use my all time fave the LA Girl Brow Pencil. And I think I kind of want to try a brow pomade and see how I like it. I never really reach for my brow pomades. So I think it'll be kind of fun to pull one out. And I think I'm going to go with the Maybelline Tattoo Studio. Okay, and now for just primers and liners and things like that. Um, For liquid liner, I'm going to keep out the uh, Profusion liquid liner. And then... This liquid liner here, the Lauren Conrad liner, I don't know, there's just something about it because it's black, but it's not super black, but it's matte, and I don't know, I truly like it, so we're gonna go with that one. And then, I think that's it. Am I forgetting anything? Nope, uh, mascaras, I need to pick out mascaras, that's what I need to do. Okay, so I think the only one I'm really gonna stick with is the Yoma Beauty Mascara. We'll go ahead and stick with that one. All right, and that is it for this drawer. Let's go ahead and get the lips. Not lashes, <laughs> lips. 
Okay, so I've really been loving lip stains lately. So I think I'm going to pull out my most neutral ones just because we got a super colorful palette. So I'm going to pull out my e.l.f. lip stains. And this is the shade of those, Cinnamon Dreams and Power Mob. And then this Holly Pop um, Holika Holika one. I can't remember the shade of that and it's not anywhere on there. And then I think for liners, what I want to do is kind of keep it neutral as well. But I think I'm going to go with this one in, where's my one in Cinnamon Statement? Here it is. So it's a little bit deeper, but not too deep in Cinnamon Statement. And then I think I want, let's see, which one I haven't used? What about this one? Okay, and then I think I'm gonna take this one in Rosewood. And I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it for this video, you guys. All right, so now that makeup is picked up, let's go ahead and get into priming. And so if you guys are new to my Shop My Stash videos, um, I film the get ready with me part after I've already used the products for I guess a month you could say now it was two weeks whenever I was able to keep up with the two weeks but I believe at this point it's been about three or four weeks since I've picked out this makeup so I've already used a lot of these products for a while we are almost done with our Smashbox primerizer like I'm fighting to squeeze it out and I'm so proud of myself so we may pick this out again for our next one just to go ahead and finish up but also pick out like a backup one because that's obviously going to be done, gone within like the next two days okay and then the wet and wild impossible primer okay. if you're wondering why my lips are blue i have my smoothie here and that blue spirulina just makes everything blue like no nothing can overpower that blue spirulina color okay so we do go in with brows first and so this is what i was using i was using the la girl brow pencil and i was also using the maybelline brow pomade and i discovered the brow pomade is act like you can actually do your brows pretty fast with the brow pomade so um i hadn't been doing this step every time i would use the brow pomade but we'll do it today is kind of just outline because when I did my eyebrows I kind of just tweezed too much in certain spots that I really need it to be saturated right there so we'll just kind of outline today with the Okay, so for um i did take out my brought my eyeshadow primer y'all i've been having trouble with the stopper in this like it keeps coming all the way out i don't know if it's because i'm almost out of product or what but like just about every other day like the whole stopper would come out which i'm probably gonna have to take out soon anyways I bought some new makeup, but it was literally like things that I'm running out of. And I've really been loving, uh, I've really been loving buying makeup that way. Um, like buying it as I need it and things that I specifically need. So believe it or not, I use the, like both of these eyeshadows and I actually reach for this one quite a bit. Just like if I wanted some color. But today we're just going to go simple and we're going to use the Dominique uh, Cosmetics Flatte Palette. So I'm taking um, vanilla cream to set down that eyeshadow primer and I'm just I like doing like my everyday makeup look with you guys like that I did with these products like I feel like if that's helpful to you like okay if I'm gonna pick out these products like how can I use them every day like without getting bored of them like it literally took me I'm selling like about a month before I ever got bored with any of the makeup products that I pick out like literally I barely started adding stuff in yesterday so I'm just gonna take this shade right here which is caramel and just buff that into the crease
Okay, and then sometimes if I would want like a little bit extra, I'd take a super precise brush. And today we'll go in with this dark brown mocha. And I would just get the tiniest bit and like put it on my outer edge and then look straight ahead and make sure that that was directly in my crease just to add like some more depth and dimension. But like that's it. That's all I would do. Like just for, you know, a little pizzazz, if you will. And I did pick out two liquid liners. I'm here to be honest with you. I really don't think I'm liking this Profusion one. I feel like, because I like to curl my lashes twice. I like to curl them before I apply mascara, and then I'll let the mascara fully dry, and then I like to curl them again. Or like, let's say I'm popping on lashes, which I have gotten back into recently. Like, let's say I'm popping on lashes, and like I have to refix the lash. Well, every time you touch this after it sets, it don't matter if you just go like this you will wipe the eyeliner off and then you'll have chunks missing so i'm not sure i'm the biggest fan of that but this lauren conrad one though this lauren conrad is pretty good you know what nobody's actually looking at both your eyes at the exact same time <laughs> so yeah so for mascara I think I only had one and that was this little mini um, Yoma by Sharon C mascara which I didn't mind using I just got tired of using it so I bought and added this in the just the L'Oreal original telescopic mascara in the shade black and so we're going to curl our lashes and then apply it. So now we're going to something on my face. All right, so now I'm just gonna measure these lashes. These are the Kiss 11 lashes. And then I'm going to trim them. It's a brand new fresh pack. I think I need a closer mirror just to be sure. trim these but I'm gonna trim them just in case because sometimes I think I don't and then it's way too long for my eye and then it's just not cute so I'm just trimming off the tiniest bit and then we're just gonna put some lash glue on these while we uh, do our foundation and I've been mixing the two foundations I picked out because this one's too light this one's still a smidge too dark so this is what I do first of all Of dots of this. And then we're just going to blend that out. concealer I have chose two, two concealers I remember why I got rid of the covergirl one it just creases I'll try it again today before I write it off but I feel like no matter how much of this I put like it just always 
looks creepy under there just ugly and dry and it's just it's not cute i've tried using less i've tried it with different setting powders i've tried using more but it's just i just don't think it's for me not under eyes anyway look it always looks good when i first apply it but like it just makes anywhere i put it look extra dry and creasy and just not cute okay time to put these on okay so now to set and i been using that LA the LA the elf halo glow setting powder I mean it was the actual only setting powder that I took out so this is just the process I've been doing so it's gonna be like it creases because you didn't re-blend it out no I've tried that too and look the second I put powder on it crepey All right, so then I would take the Bare Minerals one and just put a tiniest bit underneath my eye. This is a different brush. Just nothing makes my under eye look good whenever I use that concealer, nothing. I hate that concealer. Doesn't, probably doesn't even look that bad on camera, but in person, it's not cute at all. Not okay, so we have a few other things. Um, so I did end up pulling out a cream bronzer and a cream highlight for days that I wanted to get ready really fast and didn't want to have to do much, but it's not something that I used every single day. For the most part, this was my favorite bronzer, but I really liked this blush, so we'll do that. for blush the essence one and the shade befitting and then the Jaclyn uh, cosmetics one I have warm flush and golden goddess the blush duo and then I didn't really use this highlighter I reached for this one the most the highlighter in this bronzing palette And then for lips, so I'll take a little bit of the Milani one and Cinnamon Statement, I think it is. Yeah, Cinnamon Statement. Rub those together a little bit. Then we're going to take this LA Girl one and Rosewood. And I do not push hard on this one because I do not want it too dark. But I do this to get the 90s lip liner effect. But I've been loving a good lip stain. Um, I realized the one from e.l.f. in the same shade Cinnamon Dreams is a little bit too much for every day. And then so I usually lean towards Power Mauve or this one from Holly Pop and forget that these ones don't have the shade names on there I can't remember what this shade name is but I would lean for either one of these I think today I'll just use the power mob one send me your favorite uh, lip stains because that's what your girl has been loving for every day okay so now we're gonna set our brows and I, I picked out two because this is an eyebrow pin but it also has a gel and then I took out my Wet n Wild Brow Sessive. I didn't use this one that much because the tint of this one is perfect. Okay, so brow gel is done. All right, so we're just gonna curl the lashes and I really like to just make sure this is clean. When you make sure that this is clean, it doesn't stick as much. Try to clean the lash curler every time I use it. And then just pinch. Do y'all say pinch or pinch? Because it's clearly pinch. Okay, 
there you go i feel like it just kind of makes everything i feel like i should blacken those up a little bit but i'm so scared to change the shade so we're gonna set um this is taking so long to finish um i'm gonna use this new wet and wild take your vitamins one and this one is just i don't think that there's a certain scent to it but i'm gonna use this one today Mm. that's probably the nicest mist that wet and wild has came out with all right you guys and let's just zhuzh up the hair i love how my hair starts looking cute on like day five Alright you guys, so that was it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, yeah, let me know how you guys do your makeup. Like, do you guys do your makeup every day? Do you pick out different makeup? Do you have like a smaller collection of just like your favorites? I would love to know everything about your guys' collection and how you go about using up all of your makeup. Um, but yeah, there will be more of these to come. Like I said, they just kind of naturally went into like a monthly thing. Which, if I can do it every two weeks, I'll keep up with it. But if not, like... Just, just bear with me. Just bear with me. Sometimes the title might say monthly. Sometimes the title might say bi-weekly. Just depends on my schedule and my time. But yeah, I love you guys. Always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you have not already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.